Tonight, a devastated community in Ottawa, Canada is mourning after what police are calling the worst mass killing in the city's history. Six people, including a newborn, brutally murdered. Authorities say a mother, her four children and a family friend were stabbed to death in their home late Wednesday night. The victims, ranging in age from 40 to just two and a half months old. This was a senseless act of violence perpetrated on purely innocent people. The husband and father of the victims was also injured in the attack but survived, now recovering at a local hospital where he's in serious but stable condition. The investigation has found that an edged weapon was used to cause the deaths and injuries. To be clear, this was a mass killing, not a mass shooting. The suspect, Fabrio D'Souza, a 19-year-old Sri Lankan national living in Canada on a student visa, arrested shortly after police arrived on scene. DeZoisa, who made a brief court appearance on Thursday, has been charged with six counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. Police say the family was new to Canada, originally from Sri Lanka, and believe the 40-year-old victim and the suspect were living in the home at the time of the attack. Police telling Canada CTV News the landlord was not aware they were living there. The rare mass killing shocking the city of Ottawa, which has a population of 1 million and only saw 14 murders in 2023 and 15 in 2022. Ottawa's mayor, Mark Sutcliffe, calling it one of the most shocking incidents of violence in our city's history. Now, as police continue to search for a motive, the suspect is due back in court next week. Meanwhile, a vigil for the victims is planned for this weekend. Allison. George Solis, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.